Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're making these two little tags here. We're actually just going to make this one, but they're both made in exactly the same way, except one is die cut and one is stamped and then die cut. So let me show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how to make this one, but I will show you how to make this one as well as we go along the way. So let's set that aside out of harm's way. The stamp set we're going to use is this one called Merryish Trees, and we're going to use this tree, this piece here as well. And we're also going to use these little ornaments. So I'm not going to stamp these now because I've already stamped them and die cut them to save some time. I'll show you those in a minute. So I've got everything set up in my stamping tool, and I'm going to use some garden green ink. I'm just going to ink up my tree nicely with garden green ink. Making sure I get everything nicely covered. That'll do for now. I'm just going to give it a really good press down. Yep. One more go, I think. press and it will lighten up as well remember as the ink dries and absorbs into the paper so don't worry about that okay there we go lovely so close up the zinc pad as you know I'm a great believer in cleaning up as we go along so I'm going to clean up also I need to take this out of my stamparatus for the next for the next part of the tutorial so just give us a clean up there we go lovely okay put that back in this little house put this in this little house and I take out my two step stamping piece now before we we can initially put this down and see where we want it that's fine we're going to butt everything up into the corner so it will always be in the same place. That will do. You can use your magnets as well. What I am going to do before we do anything else is I'm just going to heat this off camera quickly with my heat gun because this needs to be totally dry, not just touch dry, but absolutely dry. Otherwise the embossing powder will stick everywhere and it will be a mess. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Okay, so I've done that. So now I want me to check that it's all okay is to add a little bit of embossing powder any old place and just see if it sticks and you can see it's sticking a little bit there so I need to give it a bit more of a dry okay so we're ready to stamp now so we're going to take our powder tool and this will also help the embossing powder only stick where we have the versa marking so let's put this all over our image get a really good covering lovely and then versa mark all over the stamp make sure it's all butted up into the corner nicely and down and give it a really good press down now because this is a dark ink you'll actually be able to see your versa mark whereas normally you can't there we go so let's move this aside and bring in our white embossing powder cover our image in it any excess you can just tap off at the back you have a small paintbrush if anything is where you don't want it you can use that but I'm happy with that as it is so let's Put that back in its home before we have a disaster. Now we're going to heat set this. Okay, 
Okay, so that's heat set as you can see. Lovely. So now we're going to cut it out using the matching dies. I'm going to show you those here. A huge die set. And we've got lots of different trees. We have cut out the largest tree, so this is this one here. And we're going to put that through the die cutting machine. Now, if you were making the die cut version, I just die cut with this um, die out of pattern paper and this is the um a walk in the forest pattern paper and i use this side so i just use my die and i cut out my shape straight away using that and then you've got this little topper here and i cut that out of basic white cardstock as you can see here then i use this die here and i cut this out of some <coughs> gold glimmer paper and I'll show you that here that's the gold glimmer paper and I just die cut this out of that and that gives you all of these lovely little garlands that you can see here and then I use these little dies here to cut out my baubles out of daffodil delight real red and azure afternoon okay so that's how I did that. For our one here, I've actually stamped, I'll show you here, already a ton of our little ornaments using the stamp set. And I did it in the same colours, Real Red, Daffodil Delight and Azure Afternoon. And then I used these dies to cut them out. So let me cut out our tree and then we'll be ready to continue. Okay, so there we have our little tree die cut. So we can start to embellish it now now my original here you can see i did stamp to and from on the back i didn't on this one but you can as well um, and to do that i used the stamp set here i did the to and the from from that celebrate with tax okay so for now we're just going to embellish our little tree here okay and we'll bring in all these baubles that i um cut out and of course they're all upside down however hard you try they seem to end up upside down I'm going to try and put some of them the right way up or as many as I can as you can see there's different shapes and size types here okay that should do and What I'm going to do is just take some Tombow and my Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to use a sticky end here and I'm just going to put some glue where I think I want my baubles to go. So, and then I'm just going to pick this up and put this down. Some more glue along here. Just putting a little, a little dot. Mm -hmm. Haven't got that very straight. Straighten it up a bit. That's why I've just noticed I put down upside down. That's useful. Let's use this red one here. Okay. And then gonna have some more glue here. Um, and you see I've got plenty. I don't know how many times I cut this out. You get more than one die to cut out these baubles. So you don't need to um, do each one all the time. And you cut three of them out at one go. And then I think you get three dies. So you can cut out a lot in one pass of the die cutting machine, which is useful. 
Okay, uh, let's have this one here. And let's have this one here. Okay, I think that's enough. You could do more or less, whatever you really want. It's up to you. But I like that. I like being able to see the, the flocking as well, all the snow below. So, next I am going to find my hole punch, which is here. And you can do a, use any hole punch you want. I'm just using one with quite a fine tip. And I'm just going to put... Try and centre it, make a little hole there at the top, and then I'm using some of the ink colour. And this is actually a parakeet party, but I think it works fine. Twine, I'll just cut off a piece, it can be a little pain to push through because I've made such a narrow hole, but there we go work fine this time. I didn't really want the hole to be any bigger than it needed to be. And I'm just going to tie it off at the top with a knot. You could make a bow, do whatever you want. I'm not going to do anything fancy with that. Get rid of those bits. And then I'm going to use these. These are the adhesive star trinkets. And I am going to use some glue and I'm going to put some glue down here on my piece where I want it to go. I'm going to use the larger one I think. These are adhesive but I just want a little bit of extra insurance which is why I've put some Tombow down as well. I'm just going to put that there and give it a press down. So it takes and there we go. So there is our tag, really simple to make and I did the same thing with the others, I cut the baubles out but I stuck them down in exactly the same way, so you can see here, um, the glimmer paper here, the gold is self adhesive so that's really easy to stick down and then on these little baubles I just added a little white accent with um, a white pen. And there you have some lovely Christmas tree tags for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed the project. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want more information about the project, supply list, measurements, etc. It's all on the blog post on our website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you again. And until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.